Christopher Newport and Virginia Wesleyan battling it out for a spot to the Division III softball championship. Game one was all the captains, but keep in mind, this is like rock, paper, scissors. It's best two out of three. We saw that this morning when the Marlins won game two, forcing a game three, so we have ourselves a winner-take-all game. The captains up 2-0 in the third until Brooke Childress adds another with a solo homer to give them a nice 3-0 advantage. Only problem was whenever the captains took the lead today, it wasn't quite enough of a cushion to put the game away. The Marlins tie it up in the bottom fifth when Lacey Campbell singles down the left field line, scoring Brooke Anders. It deadlocks the game 3-all, but as I said, it's just like rock, paper, scissors here. Katie Curran, top sixth. Sends a rock to left center for a three-run homer to put the captains up 6-3. to three. The Marlins, well, they'll deal out some scissors, trim the lead to two, top in the bottom of the six. But as we know, rock always beats scissors. The captains win at 6-4, punching their ticket to Texas to continue their run at a second straight national title. That was probably one of our best games that we've played all season, just continuing to battle every inning. You know, they scrapped a run almost every inning. So just for us to come back and Katie to hit that home run was awesome. I mean, I was ready to hit. Originally he said, he was like, um, go take a few swings. He said, actually, you're on deck. And I was like, okay, I'm ready. I didn't have a chance to grab my batting gloves or anything. But I was like, well, I'm going to go out there and hit the ball. And that's what I did.